Hello and welcome to 6 Minutes. I'm Gemma Collins. The HPV vaccine is proving to be a success in Australia as a protection against cervical cancer. However, research into the vaccination programme offered in schools to 12 and 13 year olds has shown that there is still a lack of understanding among adolescents, with some girls frightened of receiving the injection. And earlier this month, a school in the UK withdrew its vaccination programme after teachers said it was causing hysteria among the girls. So is there a risk that the same could happen here in Australia? Well, researchers at Sydney University have been examining the programme closely and they presented their findings at the recent Youth Health Conference in Sydney. We spoke to research associate Spring Cooper, who works in the paediatrics and child health at the university, to find out more about it. I think the main thing is that girls don't have the understanding of what's going on and, um, and so they're likely to believe whatever they hear. And so if they have trusted information that they can combat those rumors with, um, that seems to be probably the thing that's most needed right now. Mostly they have a really low level of understanding. They know that the vaccine is called the cervical cancer vaccine a lot. Um, they generally don't know what HPV is, how HPV is related to cervical cancer, um, how HPV is transmitted. Some girls get themselves so worked up that they'll faint um, that um, they won't get the vaccine because um, they're too upset, too concerned, and um, they actually end up missing out. My research focuses on um, developing an educational intervention for adolescents so that they have something aimed at them in their language that they can use and they can understand what's going on. What I think could be done additionally is something um, that is happening before that year seven, before the adolescents are actually offered the vaccine. Um, parents and adolescents could kind of be prepped for that. So GPs could have conversations um, in those couple of years leading up to year seven with the adolescents and parents about what's gonna be happening in year seven, um, that they can come to them if they have any questions, um, and that they are an available resource for them. We want adolescents to know that they need to get PAPs in the future and they need to continue to get those even though they've been vaccinated. So they need to understand the protection that they're receiving. They also need to understand that protection in terms of what they need to use in their sexual activities in the future. Our adolescent educational intervention is a multifaceted intervention for adolescents, um, partially to be delivered through the schools and partially outside. So we have a film um, that has several parts to it that are broken up by teacher facilitated discussion. Um, we also have a website to support that and a magazine for girls to take home so they have something physical that they can look at with their parent. Once we show its amazing effectiveness, then yes, we could offer that to all schools. And our next step also would be to include other vaccinations that are in the school-based program. Well, we expect to hear more about this educational program as it develops. And on a different topic, Next week, we'll be bringing you more news about Medicare Locals as we report on the AGPN conference, which takes place in Melbourne this week. I'm Gemma Collins. See you then.